his commandments. Uh -huh. For this is the whole duty of man. So this is your whole purpose. This is your whole reason for, for living. This is, your, this is your being. Your whole duty. Only job he gave. Fear God and keep his commandments. Right? Go ahead. For God shall bring every work into judgment uh -huh. with every secret thing, whether they be good or whether they be evil. That's right. Let's go look at these commandments he told us about. Exodus 20. Back up to Exodus 20 and chapter. We're going to run some of these commandments down. Because if these are whole purpose, we need to at least know what they are. Exodus 20. We'll start at verse 1. Exodus 20 and 1. He, he gave us these commandments. He said that's our whole duty. That's our whole job. So now we're going to run some of them down. Pay attention to the first ones. The first one. Very first one on the agenda. Let's see what it is. Hearken to the scripture. And God spake all these words, saying, mm -hmm. Who spake? God. All right. What did he say? I am the Lord thy God, that's right. which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, uh -huh. out of the house of bondage. So that's, what, that's what was going on in Egypt. The children of Israel was in bondage, slavery, captivity in Egypt. Mm -hmm. He said, I'm the Lord your God. I brought you up out of that. Go ahead. Verse 3. Yeah. Thou shalt have no other gods before That's the number one command. Mm -hmm. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Having a God before the Most High God is called idolatry. Mm -hmm. You got another, you got an idol. Idols can't see, can't talk. Most of them, anyway. They have no understanding, you know. We're going to get a look at some scriptures that tell you these are the works of me and hand, most of them. Go ahead. No other God before the Most High God. Go ahead. Verse 4. Yeah. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image. Right. Or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above. And where or, else? Or that is in the earth beneath. Uh -huh. Or that is in the water under the earth. Right. So the Lord, not only do he don't want you to make an idol. Right. Don't have no other God before him. He said, don't make no graven images. Nothing like in the, in the earth or in the heavens above. Or the stars, nothing. Don't make none of that stuff. You know? Go ahead. Five. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them. That's right. The number one thing you already know you're going to do. Once you, once you make that image, you're going to bow down and serve it. Go ahead. You ain't just making it, it's just to be making it. All right? You got a purpose for making it, so you can serve it. Go ahead. Nor serve them. Yeah. For I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God. That's right. Visited, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. Right. And what else? And showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me. And what? Else? And keep my commandments. So if you want the Lord's mercy, number one rule is you have to be keeping his commandments. If you got another God, there's some scriptures in here to tell you. Why don't you look at the God, the other God you got help? I'm just laughing at you. You got another guy, let him help you in your day of visitation. Mm -hmm. In your day of tribulation. Call upon him, right? That's how you feel about it, Midas. He with you as long as you with him. That's what the world don't understand. They, you think, they think he with you regardless of what you do. It ain't like that. Mm -hmm. The Lord is with you as long as you with him. Go ahead and read. Verse 7. Mm -hmm. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain. That's right. For the Lord will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain. Mm -hmm. Remember the Sabbath day mm -hmm. to keep it holy. Oh, we don't forgot that. We forgot that, right? That's why he told me to remember. To keep it holy. Alright? Go ahead. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. That's good. So now the Lord, we ain't gonna run them all down, but the rest of them are here. But this is the this is the set of commandments that He gave you to go by when He told you your whole duty, the whole duty of man is to fear God and keep His commandments. What He mean? Read this, learn this, and understand it. This is what I need you to follow and do. Understand? Let's go to Deuteronomy four and look at it one more time. Deuteronomy 4, we started at verse 1. See, on top of keeping his commandments, he also told you something about it in this chapter. It's going to be well for us to keep these commandments. They're going to do something for us besides give us life. Deuteronomy 4, verse 1. Deuteronomy 4 and 1. Talking to the scripture. 
Now therefore hearken, O Israel, mm -hmm. unto the statutes and unto the judgments which, which I teach you. Right, so he said hearken, that means listen to the statutes and the judgments which I teach you. Go ahead. For to do them, yes, that ye may live and go in and possess the land which the Lord, God of your fathers, giveth you. Right, so he do, do them so you can go in and possess the land. As the Lord give, go ahead. Ye shall not add unto the word which I command you. That's right. Neither shall ye you diminish aught from it. That's right. That ye may keep the commandments of the Lord your God which I command you. Uh huh. Your eyes have seen what the Lord did because of Baal Peor. Yeah, we gonna read that a little bit later. Baal Peor, that's the false god, the sun god. I believe it's the god of the Canaanites. They was worshiping him. We gonna find out what happened to him. He, but he. He's speaking to these people, the Israelites at this time. So you saw what the Lord did to, to those ones that served Baal Peor. Go ahead. For all the men that followed Baal Peor, the, okay. Lord, the Lord thy God had destroyed them That's from right. among you. That's right. Lord, so much for the Lord love everybody, right? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. But ye that did cleave unto the Lord your God mm -hmm. are alive. Every one of you, every one of you this day. That's right. That's, and that's what you got to do. You got to cleave to him. Please to him by keeping and obeying his law, statutes, and commands. Go ahead. Behold, yeah. I have taught you statutes and judgments, uh -huh. even as the Lord, my God, commanded me that ye that ye should do so in the land whither ye go to possess it. Right. So don't just know them, do them. That's the key. Doing them. Go ahead. Keep therefore and do them. Uh -huh. For this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations. See, this is your wisdom, your understanding in the sight of the nations. This is what these commandments do for you alone will give you life. They are with you amongst the nations. Right? Mm -hmm. Lord, I tell you, if you wander out of the way of understanding, guess where, guess where you remain at? In the congregation of the dead. Mm -hmm. So if you wander out of the way of these commandments, these statutes, and these laws, you remain in the congregation of the dead. Go ahead. We shall hear all these statutes uh -huh. and say, well, surely, surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. For what nation is there so great who hath God so nigh to them as the Lord our God is in all things that we call upon him for? Okay, I'll tell you one thing. The Israelites, if they ain't saying that about the true Israelites this day, mm -hmm. they strayed away. We strayed away from these commandments. Drop down to verse 15. Let the Lord reiterate this to us. Go ahead. Take ye therefore good heed mm -hmm. unto yourselves. For ye saw no man of similitude on the day that the Lord spake unto you in Horeb out of the midst of the fire. That's what we was reading about in Exodus. The Lord came down on the mountain in the midst of the fire and he was giving a command. And he said, take good heed because you didn't see how he looked. Mm -hmm. You ain't see no similarities of anything. Mm -hmm. Right? Go ahead. Let ye corrupt yourselves mm -hmm. and make you, you a graven image. Oh, that's how you're going to corrupt yourself. By making a graven image. Mm -hmm. That's why I tell you, don't do this. Go ahead. The similitude of any figure. Like what? The likeness of male or female. So, there should be no Jesus pictures anywhere. Right. Because there ain't nobody ever saw how he looked. Mm -hmm. That's why I told you. Don't make no similitude. Nothing like pictures. Mm -hmm. What else? The likeness of any beast that is on the earth. None, none, none of the animals. Don't make, don't make no resemblance of me. That looks like any of the animals. Don't do that. You ain't see how I look. So I don't want you guessing it and making images and corrupting yourself. Go ahead. The likeness of any winged fowl that flies in the air. No birds either. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. The likeness of anything that creepeth on the ground. Nothing that creep on the ground. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. The likeness of any fish that is in the water beneath the earth. So we can see clearly, the whole world is listening. Mm -hmm. You got turtle 